Hello, my name is Monet Cañedo, and I'm currently studying the Bachelor of Arts in Graphic Design. And I'm going to briefly present our research work titled Learning Object as an Educational Innovation Tool, or Energy Management Systems Teaching, based on the ISO 50001 framework, an interdisciplinary descriptive approach. A project that is being carried out together with Josué López, Ciela Melink, and Janet Murillo at CETIS University. This talk will cover the following points of our research project. As an introduction, there is a worldwide energy crisis. Power generation is lower than demand. One way to overcome this situation is energy efficiency, which can be applied formally or informally, for example, using international standards. However, education of energy efficiency in society in general, particularly in students at different educational levels, has been approached in a disciplinary manner, nor in the consideration of the contributions of different disciplines. Therefore, the expected results have not been achieved. Thus, it is necessary to determine which learning tools could help us to increase the awareness of energy efficiency in different academic programs. Learning objects are defined as all digital resources that, due to their characteristics, allow the student to self-study and self-evaluate. Once the best learning tool has been determined, it is important to consider the best methodology for the design, development, and evaluation of the effectiveness of the e-learning object. Finally, regarding the questions raised, it is relevant to quantitatively and qualitatively evaluate the learning tool. For contextualization, an analysis of the competences of engineering students was carried out within the framework of Bloom's taxonomy, as shown in Figure 1. It can be observed that regarding grades, students have better grades at remembering and understanding aspects of energy efficiency. However, for the highest competencies such as applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating, students have lower grades. This implies that the international energy efficiency standards of thought in some academic programs do not contribute to the higher Bloom competencies. After the literature review, it was found that sustainability education at different educational levels has been addressed considering various pedagogical and technological aspects. Nevertheless, no literature evidence was found regarding learning objects related to energy efficiency, particularly with regards to international energy efficiency standards. Due to the problem presented, our research team will design and create a learning tool that promotes the culture of energy efficiency considering aspects of the international energy standards through the PADDIAM methodology. This methodology starts with the planning, analysis, design, development, implementation, and evaluation of the learning tool, and it ends with the maintenance stage of the learning object. Our team is multidisciplinary, therefore we present the discussions, opportunities, and challenges from the perspective of each discipline, each one adding something valuable to the project. In particular, the views presented are from the perspectives of engineering sciences, graphic design, and marketing. Finally, in our research work, we came to the following three conclusive aspects. The theoretical framework presented in the article as a part of an applied research project is suitable for the public and private sectors related to the generation and efficient use of energy. It is considered that this project has an important social relevance, mainly because the learning object development can help reduce energy poverty and improve energy security in our region. And the aforementioned has potential impacts in the short, medium, and long term. Thank you very much for your attention. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.